fiscal policy. We won't what you are looking at is an amplitude modulated carrier. It does have a little bit of AC noise on it. This is going to be my representation of an amplitude modulated carrier. And the carrier part is the green part of this drawing. Here I've turned up the scope so we can see the carrier. And of course when I do that we can no longer see the audio information. The audio information rides on the top and the bottom of this modulated carrier. This is the wiring diagram of the radio that I'm using and this is the point where I have the oscilloscope connected to. To understand what the detector does in this radio, let's draw a line through the center of this modulated carrier and pick some points along that line and draw vertical lines. And what we'll notice is that each of those points, the lines are the same length, top and bottom, or positive and negative. And if we were going to try and amplify the audio off of this, for all practical purposes, the audio information adds up to zero, even though we can see that there's quite a bit of audio information there. So looking at the wiring diagram, I have circled the diode, and that is the detector. And what it's going to do, it's going to cut this carrier in half, and we're going to choose to use the negative half. There's nothing wrong with the positive half, but there's an advantage for uh, using the negative half. And now we're going to look at that signal at this point. And this is what it looks like. And now we can see, of course, that now the lines do not add up to zero. Now we still have a problem here. We've got a carrier here. And going back to the wiring diagram, I've circled the 200 picofarad capacitor. And what that does is it drains off the carrier. And now this is what we have, a negative varying audio signal. Going back to the wiring diagram, this varying negative DC audio signal goes to the volume control, the high side of the volume control. And when that signal passes to this point, passes through that dot zero zero to microfarad capacitor, it has only the audio information now, like this. And this is what it looks like at that point using the oscilloscope. I had mentioned that there is an advantage in using the negative half of the carrier. At this point, if we go straight down and then over to the left, you'll see a 3 megohm resistor. And then continue on all the way to the left, and then up, you'll see a dot 1 microfarad capacitor. Well, some of the negative voltage makes its way through the 3 megohm resistor and gets stored by that dot 1 microfarad capacitor. This is the negative AVC voltage. Also, if you take a look at where this negative AVC voltage ends up, it ends up on grids of the first two tubes. 
So the more negative those grids, the less they amplify. So if you run into a strong station, there'll be more negative voltage there. And if you likewise run into a weaker station, there'll be less negative voltage, so, so those first two tubes will amplify more. I hope this video has helped you understand how a amplitude modulated carrier gets detected in a radio like this and takes this information and changes it into audio information that can be amplified. Thanks for watching.